Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, we've got the usual crew here tonight. I'm Lucas, and I am joined by Christian and Anna. What up? Anna, are you are you there? Uh oh, things frozen. Can't tell if she's hiding or if she's frozen. Uh, no, she's frozen on my end. Cool. So, so there we go. Start off with the uh, glitches already. You got me. We got you. And we got this guy. Uh, there you go. Sorry, Anna. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this done in a couple minutes here. Since Anna's <laughs> not here. Can't respond to anything. Um, so yeah. Oh, Sean's, Sean's in the chat. There you I'm go. Back. What's up, Sean? Hey. Oh, hey. Welcome back. I don't know what happened. I got disconnected. I but know. I'm here now. I don't know. Yeah, we were talking about you while you were gone. Are you guys already done reviewing the figure? Pretty yeah, much, pretty yep. Much. Yeah, I figured. So, um, <clears throat> You know, looking at these, I think that this is the uh, epitome of an Anatoy. Because um, it's, I feel like it is a pile of hot garbage. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think it's a pile of room temperature garbage. I think it's a pile of hotness. Yeah. So, uh, and, and then also, I was telling them before that uh, Thew just did probably a much better, more concise review of the figure like a week ago, so. That's all right. That's all right. We're going to have fun with this review. So, let's get started. It's a dinosaur sometimes. Yeah. What flavor of dinosaur is this, Christian? I think it's a striatosaurus. All right. That's great. I'm so how much articulation that. does that uh, dinosaur have there, Anna? A bunch. Yeah, a bunch. Does he? The, yeah. What about well, the tail, yeah. I suppose, moves? Yeah, it's got the tail movement. He does that. The back legs ankles. are fully posable. Got the, front, uh, le front legs that go forward. And yeah, the front legs go back and forth. Knee, kind of, that goes backwards. I mean... Head can do stuff. His jaw can do stuff. He's got plenty of articulation. Yeah, I mean, the Mr. Jaw, the Heart Garbage. Right. The, the, um, the front legs look a little bit wonky with the way, like, the placement, I feel like. I mean, I suppose it's no worse than the Power of the Primes figures from a couple years ago, but... Yeah, the front legs are a little odder. Like, I guess the dinosaur mode has a little more, like, strangeness to it than, like... Paleotrex does, because, like, Paleotrex, you know, is just, like, straight dinosaur looking. It definitely mm. doesn't really have anything odd about it. Okay, eat you. So, I really do little... think this one is better than Paleotrex. Oh, definitely, definitely. By a lot. Like, as far not... as articulation in dinosaur mode, like, I think it's fun articulation. I'm going to make it do goofy stuff. I can't think of any articulation that it's missing. Like... No, I, the front legs can move around better. Yeah, yeah, the front legs. They could, could but they all hardly ever do on animal figures. Right. That's the thing. Like Lucas said, it's this. not very articulated. Animal figures rarely have that much articulation. Yeah. So I'm good with this. I mean, the only other thing that I kind of like in figures that are animals that never, ever happens is an articulating point here at the back hips. Oh, so yeah. You can, like, curl around. But, like, that does that's not a thing. It, it just doesn't happen. Right. No, it, it can do yeah, that. Especially with the $20. So I wouldn't say it's missing. You call that articulation? Just, I call that articulation. There's his head. I mean, I mean yeah. The, the weathering on it doesn't look horrible. Like, it's okay. I, I do like the, I like the bone white more than I like the Paleotrex brown or the uh, vertebrae black. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I like the, I like all three the brown of them is okay. a lot. Yeah. I mean, he's cute, though. Yeah, I mean, murder it's a... Murdery eyes. Red murdery eyes. It's an interesting dinosaur. Mine still has a, um, a rubber band on it. A little I mean, packing I, rubber band. 
I, I feel like with these that I'm just going to have them in dinosaur mode or whatnot. Like, in, like it's never going to see robot mode. Other than I, I suppose I have it in robot mode right now. But I mean, Is it so bad to have a cool fossil dinosaur in your collection? I don't think so. Yeah. So I'm still not convinced by this play pattern. I know it's essentially the same as the weaponizers and the modulators, but it just feels like the fossilizers do it worse. And I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's the aesthetic of putting bones on your figures that I don't like. Maybe it's that they don't have any pieces that actually turn into convincing weapons, at least to me. Maybe that's what it is. I, I mean, the modulators were pushing it with all their just boxes that you know could vaguely be a weapon, but the weaponizers, I thought, were very good. They split into right. a bunch of weapons. That was very clear. But the modulators at least had the MicroMaster base stuff, and the fossilizers have nothing. They don't have a secondary thing that they do. I mean, I guess the one thing they have is that they do have, like, the dinosaur heads that are kind of fun to stick on veins. Like, I think this can make a cool accessory, just being a dinosaur's head. And I think the same thing with Paleo Tracks. I mean, I think the other thing is with, like, a lot of these figures is, like, I just don't feel like it's intuitive. Like, I personally don't care about parts forming or whatever. Like, I'm okay with it. I, I don't have the, like, ire that, like, a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. But I feel like with these, with both of these figures it's just like not necessarily intuitive to like get them transformed one way to another and it's night is better what's that it's ab Ractonite is absolutely better than paleo he, he is regard. better i agree with paleo Trex literally takes every piece apart and puts them back it together does in Ractonite at least kind of keeps some pieces together it actually like it's so much less taking it apart than um, Paleo Sharks was that I actually thought I was doing it wrong. I was like, I'm not doing it enough. I have to disassemble this thing like 100% more in order to get it done, right? Yep. And I didn't. Because it's different. You know, this is a very different kind of robot toy. You know, it's it's a little odd because you do... You do have a very strange robot mode and a very dinosaur skeleton. <laughs> animal mode it's a different kind of thing I'm transforming mine right now is why I'm somewhat quiet yeah I mean I can show them off in robot mode like I just don't like you know these and again I guess this is a better figure than um, the paleo tracks like so he at least has like some you know ankle articulation um, I don't know his hands are super weird like he doesn't Does really have, have them. Yeah. he doesn't really have hands like it's just kind of like stumps with like pegs at the end of them um i think that that's kind of like the thing that annoys me is is like like these things aren't even referencing anything you know what i mean like the weaponizers uh did and um the um micromaster bases right like at least they're referencing stuff that like these could be anything and and somehow like i just don't like the way that the like robot modes turned out at all what do you mean by referencing anything you mean like the fact that they're new characters correct right like the fact that's that a this bad is a, thing this is no it's a good thing but what i'm saying is is that like it's a new character and like there's not like there's no rules that you necessarily have to fit into to like make it you know look good in one mode or another but so like why can't the robot mode look better than what it does if that makes sense like i, I feel love like the robot mode i feel like that the robot weaponizers or whatever pulled it off better than like what these guys did for their like robot modes no, I I like new things. Like, I'm not saying that I don't like new things. It's just that <laughs> this, I feel like, is a miss. I'm going to chime in on that, too, because the, the reason I keep getting these is that, you know, I really want to support new characters at any time. I think new characters are where it's at, and I think we need to be focusing more on, on some of that going into the future. But my love of new characters... It's battling very strongly against my love of good toys. 
and, and these are not. They're not they're not bad quality or anything. At least there's that. Like they're not made of garbage. They're just not designed well. Like Lucas said, I think it's just a miss. I just don't see what's bad about it. Like other than the fact that it's a weird robot mode. Like it is not a like normal human body shape. But this is his first time as a character, so I don't mind it being an odd body shape. I don't I just don't see the problem. So Maybe somehow somehow you spend all this time complaining <laughs> about figures that don't have wrist articulation and somehow this doesn't have a hand. Yeah, you could put stuff on its hand socket. Like it has a sword hand now and it could have a gun hand. It could have like a man hand. You could put a whole person on the end of it. I do like the head sculpt in that it has like battle masks and Paleotrex did that too. It's. I feel like that's at least referencing Beast Wars because they did that in the first wave. Mm-hmm. So I think the head sculpt is really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's a cool. It's robot definitely better than Paleo Trex's screaming skull. Jeez. Look yeah, that's a little weird for a robot this head. Looks more traditional. So, robot-y, so which Catherine is, like, says that we're not the target audience for these. Like, who is the target? Okay, audience who is? Like, is, it, Let's... is it supposed to be kids? Because this is the collector line. So I I could get on board totally if this was in Cyberverse or whatever. Like, it would be totally, totally different. I just don't think that, like, you know, like Peter uh, mentioned with his kid, like, I just don't think my kids would get these. Like, if I handed this to my kid, like, they would think the dinosaur mode is cool. Like, but I don't think they would get, like, anything else. I know who the target audience of this figure is. (laughs) You're looking at her. Just me. Just made for me. And I'm okay with that. I'll be that selfish. Because when I opened this thing, like, I got it out and I was just like, oh my god. I haven't liked a figure this much at first sight in a while. This is really fun. You're very different people. I mean, Lucas and I are pretty similar. Anna, you're pretty out there from us. Well, like, I don't know. I, I like the night aesthetic. And I like that in the movie verse, um, Dinobots 2, but I didn't particularly like, well, I didn't like that toy line for the most part, because a lot of the dinosaurs got some weird toys. Some of them were really good. They just like kind of vary between really good. All weird colors. Yeah, they were weird colors too. But I really like the night aesthetic. I really like the fact he represents that like fantasy trope of the really like stumpy like very wide and very strong night guy with the little legs. Like that's cool to me because I want that. I like the medieval fantasy feel of these figures in general because they've got the whole night aesthetic. They've got the melee weapons. They've got the bones going on. I think that's really neat. I don't particularly care about the fossilizing aspect, lysing. I like the fact they're made of fossils, but I don't really care about the fact that they come apart because... I mean, the parts they turn into aren't cool accessories. Now, you know, using them as a Lego set to build a really big, neat one, that's fun. But using them to put on your figures, eh, I don't see the point. Even though there's a couple of pieces that can do cool stuff. You know, you can have the dinosaur head or you can have the tail. That would pretty much be it. You guys both get quiet because I was talking about good things. No, well, you were talking. I didn't want to interrupt you, so... Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And Very I think well. we're all well aware of my opinion on this, so... And he has a Predacon think, tattoo. I, again, it's just one of those things where... That I, I think the former weaponizers and all that... Um, and uh, Micromaster bases, I think, were a, a lot of fun. I think you could interact with the Titans figures. Like, I really appreciated that these are kind of... Ex- you know, accessories to those figures. Um, I think that they pulled everything off well. Like, I loved how they integrated with the cartoon with, with Cog and the fact that he was made of guns and all, Cog, all that kind of thing. Kind of show. <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like, it's just, I, I just don't really feel like that this, that these have, have really hit yeah. the mark. And it, the other it doesn't thing is, feel is, like they interact with anything else. No. They like I, I, know they, I know they it. make the weapons, but you know half of their weapon modes are just strapping legs onto some random character's back. Like that doesn't look like guns. It doesn't look like anything. It looks like someone's wearing bones on their back for no reason. I don't understand. 
the other thing is is like the siege figures and um uh earthrise or whatever were made with like those five millimeter ports all over them so you could strap them all over the place and all that right like where where are the five millimeter port like i can't strap these on on these guys and then like as peter said before earlier that these look silly if you're putting them on g1 figures so I think that it would be cool, like if I could if I could strap them on, you know, Cheetor or whatever. But then there's there's no ports really to to strap them on. So that is a bummer. I don't really have many of the beasts, so I didn't know that they didn't have as many ports. Yeah, they're I only have Airazor. Pretty scant. Which That's a I bummer. don't necessarily know that I like want ports on them. Like I think they're fine as is. Right. I'm I'm just saying that. Like, these just don't really have, I mean, outside of, you can make crazy sh stuff out of them, um, you know, and like, you can get them all together and make a giant combiner like Mark did or whatever on the, uh, on the show. Like, that's, that's it. I just don't think that they're worth the money for me. So, and I don't know why, like, I'm not going to get that Megatron thing or whatever, like with the purple guy. Are you getting it, Christian? I was, and then I wasn't, and now I am again, and I'm questioning it again. I really want it. Also questioning it. I really don't want to get another Megatron, but I really want the Purple Paleo tracks. Such a hard one. What I do know is that I am going to get Wingfinger. I, I do like the look of that because it's such a unique look yeah. for a, a fossilizer, but I'm mostly just going to make that big thing that they showed off on the live stream that you just <laughs> talked about. And I'm going to leave it in that thing mode. I'm getting transmutate because I need transmutate. But, geez, I mean, after, you know, we've had three of these now. If you want to count vertebrae, two if you don't. I, I, I'm not impressed. No. Well, okay, that's a I bummer. Was... I'm impressed. I, I will say Good. that the uh, selects versions of these with all the crazy colors and all that, like I'm kind of more excited by those just because I love that weird out there stuff. So, you know, maybe I'll change my tune when I get those. I forgot about Tricranius. Yeah, that's going to be cool. And all of his just a whole sack of garbage that he comes with. I didn't want the sack of garbage. That's true. $10 but of I literal am... garbage they pack in there. I am excited for the figure <laughs> itself, especially since I like this so much. I can't wait for that. You know I honestly really do. Huh? You know who can't use blast effects? Wep uh, fossilizers. They got not no ports. Really. They got no, no. ports for them. They might not have any. I think you're right. Oh, goodness. Mm. How silly. Ha. Huh. Well. You should do an experiment with those when you get your pile of garbage, uh, Christian. And, um, like, put them all in a bag and see how long it takes to melt. Someone has already volunteered to buy them from me, so I'm just going to send them immediately oh, away from me go. as fast as go. possible. I was going to say you put a, you get a bag of gummy bears, you empty it, you put those in it, and see if someone will eat them. That would be a meaner joke. Is well, there an Autobot Paleo Tracks this? coming? Or is it just transmutate? No idea. I guess... Technically, Transmutate is the Autobot one, so yeah. Because, like, if you make Wingfinger and Tricranius, that's two Autobots for that combiner thing. And then Paleotrex or the Skelivore is their Predacons. Right. I don't know. I guess it could just be cross factional bone magic. Who knows? Yeah. So there's getting... only going to be three molds, right? Probably. As far as we know. There, how many molds were there last time? Weren't there four? Are there only two? Uh, <laughs> I think there's like three, isn't there? With the base there's guys? Three. The Micro yeah. Master bases? I think there's three. There's Ironworks, there. there's Airwave, and there's... Grease Pit, which is Ironworks. Hot House, which is Airwave. Only two? Is it just two? Is it just two? Yeah, it's just two with three oh, things of each. Oh, there, there you go. <laughs> they, they really milked those, huh? Yep. Well, I guess they gave up a spot to make um, Fast Track. Yes, because yeah. there were four. Your favorite figure. Four weaponizers, two four Micromasters bases, and four, or three of these. Why did you buy four Fast Tracks? 
because I needed an army of guard minders. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> P- Peter's in the audience. He knows. I, you know, the moment I opened this, I posted in the Discord that I need to get a dozen. And yeah, I still kind of feel that way. Like an army of undead dinosaur people is pretty cool. I'll just stick to the fiery one. Yeah, I need more. This is this is super cool to me. But you know, I, I like a different aesthetic than most people. You do. I like undead I, things, skeleton monsters and zombies and stuff. And this kind of hits that vibe for me. I mean I was zombie, with you up there, into there you up until the point we opened Paleo Drex. Because when they announced it, when we saw it, I was like, okay, yeah, bone things that transform into, you know, skeletal robots. Okay, got it. But they don't transform into them, really. They just kind of break apart and go back together, which is not a thing I like. I'm not like, or I'm sorry, I'm like Lucas in that I don't really super care about parts forming, but this is extreme. Bractonite is less extreme they, than Paleotrex, but... I just don't think that they executed it very well. It just seems no. like... It seems like it was an idea that they came up with, it, like, you know, again, like, we think it sounds really cool, but then the actual execution just didn't work. So, I don't know. It, it's Check fine. it out, you guys! The noble knight is riding his noble steed <coughs> into True. undead do battle. Isn't it Good. fun? Oh. Maybe what I'm just is... old. Maybe I'm too curmudgeonly now. What is not <laughs> fun with this, like... This wide knight riding on to a horse dinosaur. I like it. This is fun to me. I'm a little nervous about how high up it is and how it's going to fall. But other than that, I'm pretty excited by it. It needs a good spear, though. Like a full-size spear instead of just this little tiny dinky sword. Well, once you you get your, like, nine copies or whatever, you can... You can just p- put them all together. And... He can just wield Weenfinger, because Weenfinger is the skitty weirdo thing. I kind of like how that looks. I, you know, maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy, or maybe I'm just a sucker for anything that Hasbro puts out now. But like that one actually looks pretty decent to me. I yeah, think Weenfinger I... looks the worst of the three, but I still like it. Yeah, I think the body horror the of the like Linky body is a little weird, but. I still look forward to it. I think I'll really enjoy it. The head seems strange on it. It's a little too skinny. But I'm Peter, excited you're, for these. You're out there. Let me know if you, you think these would be good to make into the Beast Wars 2 Dinobots. Sorry, the Beast Wars Neo Dinobots. <laughs> like, could Ractonite become a killer punch and would I like him then? I don't know. Probably not. Maybe. So, I mean, <laughs> when the, the Wayne Finger is, comes, is like with figures like that, is, is do you want, would you rather them redo the character into something that you don't really like, or would you rather hold out hope that they're going to give you a better representation of that character? You know, I think Transmusate exemplifies that because I think that figure looks like trash. Yeah, Transmutate's the only one of these I don't like, but I need a Transmutate. I so. I might cancel Transmute and just get a second Paleo Trax because I think I'd enjoy that more. Transmute just looks odd in this mold. Like, I knew yeah. that's what was going to happen. When we got Paleo Trax, I was like, Transmute is going to be this mold repainted in Transmute colors. It happens. We've, it's fine. We've seen the early copies, you know, that people have around the internet. And they've kind of rearranged it so it looks more like Transmutate with its weird legs and horrible screaming face. That makes it look worse to me, but I've never liked Transmutate's design. And I don't like Transmutate, and I don't like Paleotrex, and combining the two is just... Ugh. Right, going to make it harder for you to get. Now, yeah. Randall mentioned that Weenfinger reminds him of Animated Swoop. Weenfinger reminds me, me of Beast Machine Skydive. Yes. And that is going to be a fun thing to display together. Because I'm going to display them as before and after death. I would versus... like that. I think I would like that one repainted as skydive more than I would like this one repainted as killer punch. 
Yeah, I I am excited for that idea. I it's funny because I thought I had sold my skydive ages ago, and I just found him in the garage last weekend. And if not for Weenfinger, he would have gone straight to eBay and sold for like twenty cents. But instead, I'm keeping him so he could hate out with his dead version. So exciting. These two need live versions. P- Peter says that skydive deserves death and nothing else. <laughs> it's skydive. true. Piece of cheese skydive does deserve true, death and nothing else. Terrible. It's like the worst toy. <laughs> but it would be like the most random thing to homage, and I appreciate a good random homage. Yeah, me too. Me too. That like that pelican head is just fantastically stupid, and it's going to be great in both living and death modes. Yeah, I'm glad we got these, though, myself, because they are different. Like, I, what I would have expected going to this line is we get the Dinobots and then repaints of each of them, but instead we're getting weird, weird crap, and I enjoy that more. And we are going to get the Dinobots, so that's that's good, too. Everybody wins. Yeah, and they're not this, which is good, because no, those would not. be bad Dinobots. Those would be very bad Dinobots. I would... I don't know what I would do if they released these in G1 Dinobot colors. If they put out Paleo Tracks and Grimlock colors, they put out this guy in slag colors. I want to say that I wouldn't get them, but you know, that sounds tempting, actually. I mean, it's kind of fun. It's yeah. like, it's silly, but it is kind of fun. <laughs> I appreciate fun and silly, but I don't appreciate these new toys, so. That's such I, a bummer. I, I, just, I hate myself that I keep buying them. Honestly, I'm, so. I'm, I'm bummed that you guys don't like them, but I think that's okay because every once in a while I have to like a mainline figure when you guys don't every once in a while. I just Doesn't think it's really often. ironic that like, these are the only figures from kingdom that you are getting. And I got so Eraser. It's like, Oh yeah. I forgot about it. And I really so. like her and I got, I got Huffer too. But, like, I just think it's funny. It's, like, all these other Beast Wars figures that I've really enjoyed. And, you know, Christian has really enjoyed and, you know, whatever. And we've been talking the praises and, and whatnot. And then somehow we, uh, but we can't have those shows with you because you don't get those figures. We have to have I'm only skipping those because I have the MP ones. That's the only reason. I still think they look good. I just got to draw a line somewhere. Is there is there gonna be an MP version of Rackman? Right here. I wish. No, I don't wish. This is the way oh, they God. should be done. They're perfect like this. This is MP Rack tonight. Oh God. You don't get any better. I want to see though if anybody can think of a way like anyone that has hands that go into pegs that I could um, bastardize for these. Can I do want to give here. Huh? Use Combiner Wars hands. How are they going to go on, though? The Combiner Wars hands peg in. Oh, are they? Oh, you're right. Yep. So I need ones that yeah. do the reverse of all hands ever. So I can have it wear hands. It'll look very ape-like with hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I couldn't think of any earlier. Like, um, the G1 Seekers, but they're not pegs. They're, like, post but other than that, yeah. So if anyone thinks of that, let me know because I would love to give this thing some hands. It's probably gonna have guns and stuff. I mean, you could do stuff. like the weaponizer guys, like put put like this and use it as a hand. I don't know. That would be real long, but yeah, kind of like mm-hmm. earlier when I made the picture and I put these, I gave him these hands. <laughs> the paleo Trek's hands that didn't work. It looked I will really say silly. That no hands is better than paleo Trek's hands. No way. I love the Paleo Trek's hands. And with the Paleo Trek's hands, you could bend the foot the other way, and you could still put a fist on it. It would just be a weird, like, wrist bendy monster. No. <laughs> I'm saying no. You, so, you know, for people watching this, you know what kind of collector you are. If you think the stuff I was talking about sounds fun, Pick this guy up and pick Paleo Tricks up if you skip them. If you're normal, probably don't do it. There you go. Uh, book that's club sad to week. say. Uh, book Club is RAD 33 and 34. So 
Come to book club Sunday nights at 930 Eastern, 830 Central on the TF Talk Discord. Thanks, Jacob. Jacob's going to check Shapeways for me. Uh, there you go. Nice. So, but, uh, but yeah, no, I agree. Like, I just don't think that this is, these are executed all that well. I mean, I guess it's 20 bucks, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. So. Yeah. I, I, if you don't think you're going to like them, I wouldn't waste the money on them for sure. You know, it's just like, I didn't buy the Sunstreaker mold because I think it looks really bad. Sunstreaker and it's all subjective. <clears throat> it's all subjective. And that's fine. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, well, um, thank you guys. Thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, Peter, Jacob, Randall, Catherine, Ron. Uh, who else am I missing? Is that it? I think that might be. Oh, Sean earlier, too. So, but yeah. So, well, thank you guys. Thanks so and much, everyone. We'll Keep having fun. You.